Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the City of Newcastle. Um, yeah, so last time, what what happened last time? We got two wins from two. It, it was the most ideal start we could have possibly got. Yeah, since then, yeah, it's not been great. So since last time beating Leverstock Green, which I just called the Greens because I couldn't remember the first bit, since beating them 2-1, um, we've got two wins since then. Um, yeah, there's a lot of red there. We, we, we've lost a lot. We've, we've lost a lot. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not too sure how this has happened because we went from being one of the favourites in the league to suddenly we just couldn't win a game. And I don't know what it was. I don't know whether I, I changed something, but I've gone back to what we started with, which what we started with did end up you know, not working as we can see here with my um, formations on the screen. I then started mixing it up and it still didn't work, still didn't work, changed it back again and it started working again. So I've absolutely no explanation for what was going wrong other than I think players just weren't performing. But Finley Clift is starting to score goals again, which is ideal. He is, I believe, the top goal scorer this season. It is, oh, it was in that screen as well. There he is. Six goals. 7.01, he's the most important player in our team right now. But for the first half of the episode, we're taking a step away from league action. And for the first time in this series, I thought I'd better get it in somewhere. We're going to be facing off against Crawley Green in the FA Cup. The FA Cup first preliminary round, which I think last season we managed to get a buy-in, which was quite quite nice. But this, this year, that's not happened. We're in the first preliminary round. We're against Crawley Green. Crawley Green are in our division. We actually, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, have an away game against them later on in the season. But for now, it's not the league. It's not league action. It's the FA Cup. And let's see who's going to be in our team to face off against Crawley Green. So this is the team that's going to be facing off against Crawley Green. And it's pretty much probably what I started with in the... The first episode, we've got Greater X in goal. My coach just keeps saying I should be playing uh, Stevenson, who's down here. Um, I just don't think he's as good, personally. They're both two and a half star, according to the coaches, but I think Greater X is just better, and he's got better form, so we're sticking with him. But at right back, we've got George Alfieri, and at left back, Dan McWilliams. I'm pretty sure that's exactly the same as the first game of the season, as is the centre-back partnership of Oliver Kemp and Kaysom Shah. Um, as a ball-winning midfielder, we've got Jake Bayram, Ethan Devine and Jamie Mellon in the middle. Further forward, we've got Albert Kamara. And then topping the line, we've got Finley Clift and Abe Gabolahan. And it's just come to my attention that we're nowhere near the game. Uh, it's actually four days away, so time to simulate forward. I'll sit here for a few minutes and you guys can get straight there. So we're finally here. It is match day and there are the lineups to be played in this FA Cup game. The first preliminary round. Um... I mean, I'm going to tell them I'm expecting them to win because although the media, I've, I've skipped past that, but the media predict uh, Crawley Green to be the favourites for this one. I disagree. I think we are probably still the favourites based on ability. Form-wise, probably goes the other way. So, Bayram with a free kick now. Forward to Gabolahan. It's offside. Oh, I was fully ready to go in full-on celebration there, but... I mean, it's a good ball in. Gabolahan just makes his run a little bit too early, but the finish is good right into the top right corner. So more of that just onside. As we're going straight into another highlight with McWilliams playing it into Clift, but it's cleared away. But our defenders have picked it up and managed to keep it, but Kamara gives it away. It's a ball forward now for Crawley Green. And Watson is on it on the left side for them. Alfieri puts in a really good tackle and tries to clear the ball away. But it is only far as the Crawley Green defenders. And they're going to just keep the ball, play a ball over the top. Watson hits the bar, but that's offside as well. So, so far what we've learned is that we need to teach our players the offside rule. It's time for a throw in for us. McWilliams with it. Mellon. And Gabolahan combining. But Clift manages to get ahead on it. It's his seventh goal of the season. He's the only player, really, that seems to be showing up game in, game out. It's a really nice piece of play there 
Ball thrown to Mellon and then to Gabolahan, who plays it back to Mellon. Nice cross into the ball, into the box, I should say. Cliff backing up to manage to get ahead on it. And it's just into the bottom left corner. Are we going to see a tight offside, are we? No. Not even close. <laughs> Not a single part of the body is past any part of the defender's body. Um, it's 1-0. We're going straight into another highlight because I don't shut up. Um, but Crawley Green are still on it. And fortunately, the ball's headed straight at Greater X. Okay, so corner ball and McWilliams is going to be the one to take it. It's headed straight at the defender, but he only heads it straight back to him. And even Devine also plays it back to McWilliams. Everything's going through McWilliams right now from this set piece. And the ball is switched across towards Finley Clift. And it's eighth goal of the season. Finley Clift is on fire. And, I mean... It's not game over yet. I'm not going to say that. It's only 2-0. But I tell you what, for the rest of this game, we are looking pretty damn good. And we are approaching half-time and we are there. And it is 2-0 to us at half-time. I'm telling them I'm very pleased with the performance and to keep it going. Because apart from the game that we've just played off, uh, off camera, I mean, this is the first time we've actually looked any good since the start of the season. Okay, so Crawley Green do have a throw in. This is come straight from kickoff, um, so I'm not expecting it to come to much. The ball does go straight to Greater X, and uh, it ends it there. But we are going straight into another highlight for Crawley Green. It was a corner, but we managed to get it away, and Clift's on the ball now. Can he play the ball through to Gabolahan, or is he going to go himself? He does, but Rose manages to get hand to it and puts the ball out for a corner, which we are also going to see, and McWilliams is going to take it. Can it be better than his last one? I mean, it's straight at the defenders. Okay, so coming up to the 70th minute, and Crawley Green have got a corner. Watson manages to flick it towards the far post, but doesn't go in. And it looks like we're going to see the goal kick straight from this. Greater X plays it short to Kemp, who plays a long ball forward to Finley Clift. But it is cleared, and long ball forward also cleared from our defenders. So both defenders are doing quite well with the long balls. Um, as we see another one there straight at a Crawley Green defender. Um, but Hassani now for Crawley Green is on the ball. He's going to play it into the box towards Watson, but Greater X manages to claim it quite comfortably. Okay, so last five minutes now of the game, and it's looking less and less likely that Crawley Green are going to manage to get anything from this. I'm not going to make any changes. I want everything to stay as it is. And we've had the three minutes. The referee is going to blow his whistle any second now. As uh, a Crawley Green defender manages to foul us. But we're not going to have time to take it. It is a 2-0 win in the FA Cup. First time you've seen the FA Cup action. And the first time you've seen us go through. So, there we go. I mean, the magic. Not the magic of the cup. It's the magic of recording videos. Clift on form for City of Newcastle. It, it's just a, an ongoing story so far this season. I'm going to put my arm around him. Which has improved his body language. And I'm going to tell him he was superb in front of goal. Because he was. And it is now time for the FA Cup second preliminary round draw. Um, so we are going to have a look at it. We're, I mean, we'll flick through the first few. And if we don't appear, we're, by the time it starts to scroll down, then we'll just do the lot. It's starting to go down. It doesn't look like we're going to see it. So we're just going to click draw all. Can we see ourselves? I mean, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Here we are. So we are against South Hall. South Hall playing in Stanwell. I'll be honest with you. I don't know where Stanwell is. So give me one second and I'll have a look. Okay. So it looks like Stanwell somewhere in London. So um, we're, so, I mean, we're continuing our long journeys. I believe it was an away game, wasn't it? It was. So we're continuing our long away days to London instead of staying in the Northwest. Um, that's, that's what you've got to do when using this database, apparently. Um, but yeah, so again, <laughs> we're against South Hall in the next round, but that's not what we're going to see. Now we're turning our attention back to the league with Bulldog Town. Okay, so it is match day against Bulldog Town. It's a home game, so we've not got the travelling to do. And the team that we're going to play is exactly the same as the team that beat Crawley Green. So we're just going to get straight into it. So I'm just going to tell the boys to go on and carry out, carry on with how they left off last time and do the usual, have faith, and hopefully we can go out there and we can get ourselves a decent result. Okay, so Baldock Town have got 
a throw in, but we've managed to win it back. And Gabolahan plays it through to Clift, who has a shot on goal, but strikes it straight at the goalkeeper day. And I've just seen the, the league table. It's horrible. And we've now got a throw in, but the ball goes into Gabolahan and it's just over the bar. It clips it by the sounds of the commentary at the bottom. Yeah, look at that league table. Look at that. Potato to finish top, we are. Okay, another throw in now for us. The ball played towards Gabolahan, but it's cleared. But McWilliams has managed to collect it from the clearance. And Shah over the top to Gabolahan manages to slot it away. I'm pretty sure that combination has happened quite a few times. Shah over the top to Gabolahan. And it's a really good ball, and it's a really, really good finish. Uh, I mean, let's have another look at it. Divine plays it back to Shah, who just launches it over the top. Good touch from Gabolahan and switches it to his left foot. Is he left footed? Is he is he left footed? So here it says he is right footed only. And yet he made a deliberate intention to switch the ball to his left foot, despite being right footed only. Um, I mean, yeah, make of that what you will. So it's been a really good start so far, and hopefully we can continue that for the rest of the game. This team is one that's down near the bottom, 19th, I, I think I saw that they were. Um, so it's definitely a game we should be winning, but even so, the teams that we should be beating previously, oh, we have been losing to. And Liam Marshall on the volley manages to hit the ball past Greatorix, and I can see on the side there, Greatorix is not happy. Lashing the ball away. It's not a goal that should be conceded, really. Just manages to keep the ball in. And then just on the volley, manages to put it away. So, Bulldog Town now with a throw in their defensive area. Try the long ball forward, but Bayram manages to collect it. And the ball, I didn't see who that was, but I think it was Ethan Devine. Played it to Finley Clift, and Finley Clift continues his goal scoring form what else can i say ninth goal of the season now um was it divine that played the ball it looks like it was good ball over the top it looks like there might have been a hint of offside i mean we'll just have to take a look at the replay i assume it's going to give us a tight offside replay it is um and it looks like yes you can't you can just see it but underneath the purple of the match stats he's just playing him on Okay, so it is now half time and we're winning 2-1. I mean, this is not form that we've had normally. <laughs> we are going to go down to balanced. I've ju it just popped up saying that they're now going more attacking. We're going to go balanced. Um, yeah, I'll tell them there's room for improvement. Why not? Um, I'll tell them there's a lot more to come. Yeah, why not? We'll, we'll get them inspired and motivated. Try and get them to do even better. And then who knows? We could have a, a 4 or 5 one on our hands. Okay, so highlight pretty much straight from the kickoff. Day had a goal kick and Clift. Well, there we go. It's another goal for Finley Clift. It's his 10th goal of the season. How many goals have we seen from him today? I think that's his fourth now. I mean, that was pretty much from kickoff that led to the goal kick. And Gabolahan manages to head it forward just in a dangerous area. And Finley Clift on the half volley manages to put it past the keeper Day. I mean, what a game so far. And Bulldog Town now with the throw in. And Simon's playing it down the line to Eagle. Are we going to be able to close him down? We have. And Kamara's on the ball now. So playing it quite close. There was no need to really do that play around the back when there was the long ball on, which was eventually played. Even Divine's on the ball now. Forward to Gabolahan from Kamara. Finley Clift now. Divine behind the floodlights and Kamara. He's not done too well so far, Kamara. He was kind of our star player last year, and he's just he's not really done anything since. Um, we are going to get another highlight straight away. Um, it is just played along the floor towards Day, though, so no problems for him there. Uh, long ball forward, though, for Bulldog, but it is going to be relatively comfortable for the defenders to deal with. Greater X now playing it out to Kemp. And looks like Bayram's kind of joined the centre-back partnership there, which was a little bit strange. That's not what I want him to do. But, I mean, if it means that we can keep the ball, I'm not going to complain. And little one-twos there with Kamara and Clift. And the ball forward to Gabolahan. He tries it with his right foot. I don't think he is right footed only. I think he's probably predominantly left-footed by the looks of it. And another throw-in. I swear all highlights seem to start from throw-ins. It's a bit strange. Um, I don't know if anyone else has noticed that in this year's game. Uh, but Bulldog Town are on it. Kean's now, and yep, yeah, Brian Dunn. 
Yep, makes it free too. Not, nope, not worried, not worried. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? It's, I mean, yeah. Kins, I thought he was going to have a, a strike at it. And so all my defenders went towards him and left Brian Dunn completely open. It's 3 2. It's getting a little bit concerning now. We do have a corner kick with Kamara. Ball into the box, headed away from Coyle, and Kins is going to get it. Can we get a defender on it? Divine, well done. On a yellow card, he had to be careful there. Plays it through to Clift. Can Clift finish the hat trick? He can. Finley Clift, hat trick hero. I might be wrong. I think he's the first ever player to score a hat trick for City of Newcastle. So that, that's massive. And I mean, I was worried we were going to concede, but we haven't. Finley Cliff from such a tight angle manages to slot it past the keeper at his near post. He should never be beaten there. Okay, and another highlight. Bayram. I mean, the floodgates have opened, people. Bayram with a decent free kick. And towards the man who normally is playing the long balls forward, Kaysom Shah has managed to get on the end of it and put in another good finish at the keeper's near post. I mean, if anyone wants any more goals, just shoot at the keeper's near post. Okay, and a late-ish free kick for Bulldog Town. Um, it looks like that's that was a really pointless highlight. That was a very pointless highlight. It was just offside and nothing really happened. But we are going into added time now. It's 5-2. I think this is possibly the most goals we've ever scored in a game. I think that's probably right. Um... And I don't know if this is the end highlight. It looks like it probably is. But I tell you what, all round, it's been a really good performance. I'm really, really impressed with this. Because this is something that we've not done so far this season. Um, or really since the start is actually blow a team away. Um, and we've done it with not many shots or shots on target. You know, there's only shot one shot that's been on target that hasn't gone in. Um, I'm assuming that this... Uh, Pretend highlight's not actually going to be anything and it's just going to be the final whistle, which is going to come in just a couple of seconds. It is. What a win. I tell you what, I, I said it before. Was something, is there something in Football Manager that connects with OBS? You know, when, when it sees the record button that somehow you start performing? Because I think I've lost one game on camera. One game. A good win, boys. Well done. It's been a really good performance. I mean... Considering the form for the start of the season to then come and blow a team away like that and get through in the FA Cup, hopefully this is going to be the momentum to push us forward and really challenge for the league. We are 10 points off top spot, but as I'm sure everyone knows, at this level of football, 10 points is nothing. You can easily make that ground up and you can just as easily lose that ground. So, I mean... We could easily get down to 17th just as easy as we could get up to first is what I'm trying to say. So hopefully, hopefully form will start kicking in, momentum will come in and we'll start pushing ourselves up the table. And it looks like we're going to need to praise Finley Clift again. Superb in front of goal. <laughs> I mean, what a season he's having. If we have a look at our schedule. So he scored three goals against Bulldog. He scored two goals against Crawley Green. He scored another goal against Wembley in our la in our game before the video. I mean, he's in great form. Hopefully, he can continue that. We do have some cup games coming up, though. And now, I'd quite like to push a bit further forward and hopefully get some results and that start to do well. I think what we're going to do is... We're going to go to the second half of the season, I think. So we've had the two videos for the first half, and I think another two for the second half. Possibly three, depending on how the, the battle for promotion is going. Obviously, we've got to win the league in order to go up. At the moment, that's not looking like a certainty by any means, which I was hoping it would by this point. Um, we'll probably aim for around February is going to be my aim. Around February, maybe late January, and then we can do a, a March video and then maybe an end of season video to make that five for the season. Um, but I really hope you have enjoyed. Um, please do leave a like and subscribe if you have and if you're new around here. Um, as always, my links to Twitch and my Twitter are in the description, as is Alex's. We're not going to check up on Alex today. Um, we'll have a look at him probably in the next video. But I hope you have enjoyed, and until next time, I'll see you later.